Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss uh, some of the features of geosynchronous satellites. As you know, geosynchronous satellites means the satellites that are orbiting uh, around the Earth above the equatorial orbit with the same angular velocity as that of Earth. And hence, uh, they, can, they are also known as stationary or geostationary satellites because they remain at a fixed position above one spot on Earth's surface. And since uh, a geosynchronous satellite appears to remain in a fixed location and it uh, does not require any special antenna tracking equipment. That is uh, one of the major advantage of geosynchronous satellites. And uh, another feature is that geosynchronous orbits are circular and hence the speed of rotation is constant throughout the orbit. And, uh, and there is only one geosynchronous orbit and it is occupied by a number of satellites. These are some of the features of geosynchronous satellites. And uh, another feature of uh, geosynchronous satellite is that uh, almost, geos uh, almost all uh, uh, geosynchronous satellites remain stationary above the or over the equator. But uh, because of some orbital perturbations like uh, the gravitational forces exerted by sun and the moon and some other cases are solar winds and uh, the uh, the deviation of Earth's spherical shape that uh, these effects all causes some unbalanced force on the geosynchronous satellites and uh, it uh, results in the some deviations in the orbital path and uh, this uh, affects uh, sometimes uh, known as or this uh, results in some effect and, uh, and it results in some specially inclined orbit known as stationary inclined orbit because of these unbalanced forces like the gravitational forces exerted by moon and the sun and uh, because of the deviation of uh, Earth's uh, spherical uh, shape uh, this can cause some deviation in the orbital path and this is known as stationary inclined orbit or the special type of inclined orbit are uh, called as stationary inclined orbit and uh, this uh, the ground controllers of uh, or, or used to for this geosynchronous satellites must periodically adjust satellite position to uh, counteract these forces and uh, these forces can be uh, counteracted or uh, can be resolved by using or by adjusting the ground controllers and the then this process of controlling this effects is known as station keeping the way in which the ground controllers are, uh, periodically adjust this satellite position in order to adjust or counteract with this uh, perturbations or this gravitational forces or uh, some other deviations. So it is known as station keeping. And next you see what are the requirements for satellites in geostationary orbits. First one, uh, the main important is it have a zero angle of inclination. That means the satellite vehicle must be orbiting directly above the Earth's equatorial plane. Uh, you know about uh, angle of uh, or the angle of inclination means the angle exists between the uh, equatorial plane and orbital plane and uh, for geostationary satellites it must be zero angle of inclination and the second requirement of geostationary orbit is that the satellite must also be orbiting in the same direction as of Earth's rotation that is the another requirement for a geostationary orbit and the third one is the semi-major axis of a geosynchronous earth orbit is uh, is the distance from the satellite uh, re revolving in the geosynchronous orbit to the center of the earth that is the uh, distance or that is the, the dimension of semi-major axis and we can calculate this using uh, or applying Kepler's third law here the semi-major axis is denoted as a and it is as 42,164 kilometer and uh, for a geosynchronous earth satellite uh, it revolves around the earth in a circular pattern directly above the equator that is uh, 42,164 kilometer from the center of the earth and because the earth uh, equatorial radius is calculated approximately as 6,300 uh, 6, 78 kilometer and from this uh, we can uh, calculate or we can uh, determine the height of the uh, or the height required to place the geosynchronous satellite above the earth orbit and uh, here is a calculation or for the geosynchronous satellite orbital velocity and uh, we can calculate the circumference of orbit as 
c equal to 2 pi r and we know the uh, uh, the measurement or dimension of r that is semi major axis that is 42164 and from this we can calculate the velocity as uh, from the dimension divided by the time orbital time period 24 hour we can uh, calculate the geosynchronous satellite orbital velocity and another term related to this geosynchronous satellite is that round trip time delay of geosynchronous satellite is uh, nothing but the uh, time delay within the earth station and the satellite equipment that is uh, it takes some uh, more than a quarter of a second for an electromagnetic wave to travel from earth station to a satellite and back when the earth station is located at a point on earth directly below the satellite the tamil or time delay sujipikkunnana the round trip time delay of geosynchronous satellites and it can be calculated by using the equation t equal to d by c and uh, this uh, this is nothing but a time delay or the propagation delay between a satellite and a earth station a signal nalla delay aanu endu parayunnathu round trip time delay ennu parayunnathu next is advantages of geosynchronous satellites endokeyana ee geosynchronous satellites inde advantages one it is stationary ayidondane endana it does not require expensive tracking equipment second one uh, it is uh, available to all air station within the shadow and uh, uh, there is no need to switch uh, from one geosynchronous satellite to another adu kondu thanne endana transmission breaks onnum varadilla vera switch cheyanda kaaryam illa appidu adu stationary aayund pinne doppler shift vandana geosynchronous satellites ne negligible aanu and next is disadvantages of geosynchronous satellites endana etom Pradhanapatta disadvantage it requires sophisticated and heavy propulsion device. This geosynchronous orbital place here. We have to do propulsion device, heavy or less sophisticated device. High altitude geosynchronous satellites include much more longer propagation delay. We have round trip propagation delay. High altitude angle geosynchronous satellites in the propagation delay. And another disadvantage is that it requires higher transmitter power and it is more sensitive sensitive receivers because of the longer distances uh, path loss um longer distance so ayundana highly sensitive aayittulla receivers aayirikku adondana transmitter power um endana koodudile venam that is another disadvantage and another uh, requirement or one of the disadvantage is it requires high precision spacemanship adayathu oru geosynchronous satellite orbit ilum avada maintain cheyanengil endana high precision aayittulla spacemanship adayathu ee idu endana oru satellite avada thekkanulla sophisticated aayittulla techniques um alle methods um use cheyengil mathrame oru geosynchronous satellites adinde orbit ilum namukku place cheyanum adu maintain cheyanum pattulla these are the disadvantages of geosynchronous satellites okay thank uh, thanks for watching and that's all about uh, the geosynchronous satellites features and advantages and disadvantages okay thanks for watching